again. Um, it looks like it all disconnected, so I'm hoping that it will work again. All right, it looks like everything is working on Twitch. Let's check Facebook. Sorry, everybody, I don't know what's happening today. <laughs> issues. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome back. All right. Well, it looks like Twitch is work working this time, kind of. Maybe. We hope. So I'm getting my uh, unified chat. Hopefully I'll start seeing messages there. If not, I will just check Twitch and um, Twitch and Facebook. <laughs> You're having issues, Clark. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it probably is, Jeff. Uh, do you ever get a drawing to this point and have a grand plan like you just described, it's true, it is a grand plan, about being in a cave but fear you can't pull it off and will ruin the underdrawing? 100% Jacob Heaton every time. <laughs> and you just, uh, if, if it's really seeming like it may ruin the piece, then I will, I will reconsider and maybe choose something that I know for a fact I can pull off. So that's kind of what's going on in the back of my mind right now. Um, but as far as, uh, you know, getting, chickening out, getting scared, all of those things, if I know it just is going to take some effort, but it can be done, I will generally try to push myself to do it. You know, the sort of nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> okay, let's see with Twitch if it's working. How is Twitch, everybody? Uh, Juan is in his safe place. We have a definite maybe on Twitch. Ah, uh, well, you guys can just chat amongst yourselves, I guess. All right, but I'm gonna I'm gonna close Facebook and Twitch, and just um, see everyone's comments via my unified chat. <laughs> All right, time to get to work. Well, I'm glad that we were able to um, get it working. <laughs> oh, is, um, am I not muted on it? Let me check on Twitch. Sometimes if I'm not muted, you guys get double. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna mute myself. All right, hopefully now Twitch shouldn't have double echo situations. Uh, Paul, no, this is an eight and a half by 11 commission. <laughs> Twitch is seeming to be good. Excellent. All right. So anybody who joined me over on Facebook, 
My Twitch seems to be working now, so you're more than welcome to join me over there. Um, and I will see your chats from, um, I will see your chats in my little window. Okay, let's try recording again. And we are back at it. Please nothing break. <laughs> YouTube is running good. Thank you so much, JR. I really appreciate you checking that for me. Clark, hello. Yes, we're back. <laughs> Hopefully my fuzzy hat is not in anyone's line of sight. Thank you so much, Dave Merritt. Big hugs back to you. Kylie, hi. My hand is doing better-ish. <laughs> At least I feel like I have um, control over it again. Colin, hello. I'm just not doing any kettlebell um, arm workouts or kettlebell swings for this week um, and I'll try to do some other kind of workout. <laughs> what happened? Um, Juan, I had to skip my Sunday live stream and my weekend drawing because I was kind of losing, uh, I think I sprained my hand or my forearm somehow so my, my fingers were not, they were all stiff, it wasn't really working. <laughs> Mr. Positive, hi. Welcome to the stream today. <laughs> Just to support me, you'll do no kettlebell workouts this week either. Nice. <laughs> Billy, hello. Welcome to the stream. So after these live streams are done, I'm going to need to go and delete some of these like videos that kept crashing. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Richard, thank you. <laughs> See what happens when Dan makes you work out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Positive. It's great to have you here. Oh, you didn't know that I was Canadian as well? Yes, I am. <laughs> Yay! Hello, 
Zico. I'm doing good. Bad hair day or needs a wash? You know what, Paul? Neither. It's amazing. My hair is actually clean and I'm not having a super bad hair day. I just, uh, you know, it's not that hot today, so I figured I should wear the hats while I can before it gets too hot for me to wear them. <laughs> But you know, it's a good guess, Paul, because those are usually my reasons. It was weird and funny having you on the big screen at my local bar. I still have such a hard time believing that, Juan. It's hilarious. That is weird. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rox. Don, do you ever try to have long nails or did it interfe interfere with your artwork? Um, it does interfere with my artwork. So I definitely have to keep my right hand, the nails really short. Um, my left hand, I can let them get longer, but then it's uneven and it looks really weird. Though, I, I'll be honest, I have super gnarly nails and I don't take very good care of them. They're not manicured. <laughs> they're, they're kind of what, you know, probably many women look at and are like, ew, gross. Um, but... I, I'm either washing dishes or working with art supplies and when you get like paint on your pretty nails or whatever they get all ruined so I've pretty much decided to ignore them so if you could ignore them too that would make me really happy <laughs> ah, a huge A to a special Canadian thank you Dave It was their first day open, not many people in there. Okay, fair enough. You're always smiling and you look so happy. Oh, thank you. Zico, that means so much. Thank you. Lone Dragon, hello. Thank you so much for popping in to say hi. No, no, you noticed someone streaming with long nails. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kylie. You're a mom of three, you don't need to worry about nails. Yeah, that's kind of what I figure. <laughs> I give myself a pass. <laughs> you guys are all wonderful, Zico. Thank you for being here. No, Kylie, not at all. It's very possible, Juan. So that's something I actually work out with uh, whoever I'm doing a lady death commission for. They, they are aware that I will be sending Brian a scan. It's entirely up to Brian whether he decides to use it or not. Um, but yeah, that is something I pre-work out with whoever is getting a commission. Um, to just make sure that they're cool with that and all, all of those good things. So yes, the man who this piece is for is very aware and has given his, his written um, acknowledgement of that possibility. <laughs> Though, again, it's entirely up to Brian. I have no, no um, say either way. I have not, Dave. I'm gonna need to look her up. I'm not even sure who she is. I've been told before from people that I look like a mixture between pink and Feruza Bulk. That's what I've heard, but I have never heard about Polly Parrot. 
I'll have to do some adjustments in order to make this fit into a cover size because this is wider than a cover is and a cover is taller. So in order to keep her feet in, <clears throat> excuse me, in order to keep her feet in the, in the frame, I'm gonna need to add like an inch um, to the top of the, um, the piece. So that's something I'll have to work out with, um, with Brian afterwards. I'll need to do some adjustments. Now I'm going to switch to 0 0.1. Shanna, hello, welcome to the stream today. <laughs> My hand is doing better, thank you, love. Um, it's still not at 100%, but I'm just going to take it easy, and I'm not uh, pushing as hard as I usually do to get things finished, um, just to give my hand a little bit of a break. Tea quick. Hola. <laughs> Welcome to the stream today. You got kicked off? Sorry, Michael. Um, what did happen though is I ended up having to, to restart my stream twice. So chances are I got kicked off or I think it was a connection issue. What time is it in your country? Right now it is 5.50, so 5.50 um, in Calgary, Canada. Okay, let me let me see the link, Dave. Oh, thank you, Rob. <laughs> uh, PM. <laughs> Super cleaner, take it easy on the cleaning. <laughs> True, kids do make so much mess. All right, I'm just looking at this link that Dave sent. Interesting, I don't see it so much. Cool. All right, let's get back to the chats. <clears throat> Paolo, thank you so much for, oh no, yes, Paolo, thank you for the follow. What's the weekly dusting? <laughs> All right, my weekly dusting is, is of the, the statue. Oh, and Eric, I'm sorry for missing your question. I'll get to yours in just a second. I have a art brush that, that technically is for, um, it's paint a paintbrush. <laughs> but it works perfectly as a duster. So I use it for the mermaid and I dust her once a week <laughs> just to make sure she's in perfect condition. So um, this is what I was using and it's what, this is the brush I sent you a picture of. So I was just dusting her off. Um, and as far as, oops, as far as the, um, is there a cover of a comic you would love to do at some point? Um, I think I uh, thankfully I really have had an opportunity like all, all the standard answers that I've had for many years it's I'm so grateful 
that I have been able to work on those covers because my answer before used to always be a Harley Quinn cover or a Wonder Woman cover or getting to draw those characters for DC and that has worked out. I'm so grateful. Um, <clears throat> so now I, ne I need to think of, of something new, um, but I'm, I'm so grateful for all the characters that I get to draw. It is really fun. Is that a crippling brush? I have no idea. It's just a, it's called an oval mop. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shanna. No worries, lots of chats in here, yes. And I also, Eric, I'm also live streaming on Twitch, so I have them, um, I have chats from both places on here. Um, and then sometimes someone will comment from YouTube, but mostly it's Facebook and Twitch. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to keep up. Oh no, Paul died. <laughs> so I, uh, I did, this is a typical me mistake. Um, I, for, I drew her glove and Lady Death has these long gloves. They're about as long as the one, the one I'm wearing. Let me see if I can show you guys. So mine comes up to about here. Um, so, but it, it goes over one, her, her middle finger and it goes over the entire finger and I forgot and drew a nail on her finger. <laughs> Classic. Uh, do you like Art Germ's work? I love Art Germ's work. He is amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Shanna. It's got ice cream cones on it. <laughs> I have an ice cream monster. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Paul, that you were feeling sick. Bummer. Um, yeah, all you work, I was working on the pencils for this one. <laughs> so what animal tried to take a bite out of your head? <laughs> it's an ice cream monster. Hello, David. Tom, welcome to the stream today. You got here at the perfect time because up until now it has just been glitch after glitch. So the reason why I really wanted to have her cape featured in this one is that um, her cape is red on the inside. So it's gonna give this really nice pop of color and it will draw your eye to her. At least that's my hope. Oh, sorry, David. <laughs>
the cape on the lenticular really pops oh that's great to hear paul i loved seeing your video i need to go back and like and comment i think i was like folding laundry and i was just kind of looking at facebook on the side so i haven't gone and commented but thank you so much for posting that video i uh i still haven't seen one in real life so it's really exciting to see everybody's videos how do you fit your work in with the kitties? Well, for starters, Shannon, my kids are older. So um, when I first started in comics, my youngest was six months old. So, um, and then my older two were nine and six, I think. Um, so I, uh, I worked at night. I would take care of my kids during the day and then I would stay up most of the night and I slept about two to three hours uh, a day when i was trying to get into comics and starting in comics so it was it was a rough it was a rough um first couple years <laughs> trying to keep up with art now my kids are a little bit older my eldest is turning 18 next month so you know i'm uh i'm able to work during normal daylight hours and you know the kids do kind of manage their own schoolwork right now because everyone's working from home and doing school from home at least where i live my husband is really picking up a lot of the the slack and helping me as well so we're able to work together to manage the kids and do our work <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun, Dave. Duct tape works well to keep the kids at bay, just saying. <laughs> Ooh, yummy Tom. Your husband do art too? No, my husband does not draw, well... <laughs> He draws stick figures, Zico. You'll see him doing stick figures at some point. Uh, he'll join a live stream and draw. <laughs> but uh, in my opinion, bless his heart, but he's not an artist. <laughs> That's most mommy's period. My mom claims she only slept four hours for the last 40 years. Yeah. Yes, uh, sometimes my cam does get a little bit blurry. I'm not sure why it's a little, um, it's a little blurry. Oh, Christina, you're wonderful. <laughs> you got a masterpiece, masterpiece one of a kind waffle man, exactly. <laughs> Uh, have any of my kids picked up drawing? Um, my youngest one has. So he wants to be an artist. He has drawn six comic books uh, called Catman. And he is making his own comic book. He has commissioned some of his friends in his school class to do covers and prints. He draws, he writes the story and does the interior art. Like he's... He's got his own little comic business going <laughs> with his uh, fourth grade classmates. It's really cool. You may have rum and coke later. Ooh, yum. I'll have to show you on here one time. Yes, I will. That is a really good question, Paul. I really hope that boopers have. Jason, hello. Will we get some Linden art? Oh my goodness, Devin, you're so amazing for remembering his name. That's just so sweet of you. Thank you, Devin. 
I'm sure, you know, he drew a, a, uh, he drew some art for a live stream. I'll see if I can find it. I have a drawer of his art right here. Well, here's a cat man drawing. <laughs> I think at one point cat man dies yes 1981 to 2022 may he rest in peace and there's his two main characters at the catman memorial i think <laughs> he drew this a, a little while ago i'm not sure uh he did draw um he draws constantly so i'd need to find um re the rest of his art nice we save it in folders for him <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Janetka. Is that how you pronounce it, Janetka? I hope so. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Hello, Craig. John, hi. It's been a while since you've been able to see a stream. Well, thank you for joining in today. Hello, Matthew. That's awesome. Yikes. Thank you, Jason. Do you normally have an inker? Have you tried ink washes? Dalton, that's a good question. Um, I have not uh, worked with an inker before. Oh, no, correction, I'm wrong. Um, I did work with an inker when I did some Harley Quinn interiors. So it was for Harley and her gang of Harleys. Um, and an amazing inker did the inks on that for me just so that we could meet the deadline. Um, and that's more how DC works with interiors, I believe. Um, so I, um, as soon as I was done with it, I sent it off to him and he inked it. Um, but in general, I ink my own work. And I have never tried ink washes. I've, I'd like to, I'm just not entirely sure how to do them. I did one semi ink wash, I guess, for an interior page. I can show you, I have it right here. So um, this, this page, where is it? Yeah, here. So I did an ink wash on the character in the background. Um, but that's the, the only real ink wash I've ever done that I'm aware of. So yeah. Hello, Labris. Welcome to the stream. Hello, David Patrick, welcome. Labris, I usually flip flop between YouTube and Twitch. Oh, well, thank you so much for being here. How did you learn to do interior art for the comics? Um, you know, I'm, I'm still learning, Shanna. <laughs> it's one of those 
You know, learning how to storytell um, and make interior art interesting is still something I'm studying. And so um, I do have some books that I'm studying for that. And then also just um, reading other comic books and stuff and seeing how the pages are laid out and all of that really helps me. So um, it's really just a matter of getting some books, doing research, and then just doing it. Philip, hello. See you later, Kylie. Love you, hun. Thank you, Ed Bailey. Do you think you'll do any more Angela? I don't have any Angela on my roster at the moment, Cymru. Do you mostly do covers or interior work as well? I mostly do covers, Jason, except I've done some interior work for uh, DC Comics, for Zenoscope, I did one book, um, and then Rothic. So I do interiors for Rothic and um, the series that I just showed. So this is uh, the series that I work on. Um, uh, and this is the only book I do interiors for right now. It's called Divinica. And I will be starting in on issue six in September. So right now I'm meeting some cover deadlines that I have and then I'll get back at this. Um, and the whole thing is done on live stream and it's painted by hand. So stick around, or follow my page and you'll be able to see the process of this whenever you're able to watch. <laughs> Oh, Tom, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> any updates on Edmonton Expo? I don't have any personally. Do you prefer covers over interiors? Um, in my opinion, covers are easier to do than interiors, but I really like having the ability to work on both because they bring in a completely different set of rules, really. Um, the way your mind thinks for uh, creating a cover is very different than what your mind goes to when you're planning out interior art. Interior art is all about telling a story. Cover art is all about um, cover art is all about catching attention and um, making someone interested in picking up the book and opening it. And the rules are very, very different, in my opinion. Have you done work for Aspen Comics? Yes, I have. So I've probably done about six or seven covers for Aspen Comics, maybe eight covers. Um, I've done a Kiani and a fair few Lola covers. Thank you, Eric. Oh, thank you so much, Jason. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Divinica is awesome. Um, and it's uh, now's a good time to jump on the Divinica train. That's all I can say. You are supposed to be resting your hand. I am resting my hand. I didn't draw. I tried to draw on Saturday and I realized that my my hand was so um, out of control that I, I didn't feel that I was doing a good job, so I stopped. Um, and then I didn't draw at all on Sunday and that's kind of driving me crazy. So I'm back to drawing, but I'm taking it easy. Mark, hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Thank you, Shanna, I really appreciate that. Divinica TV show, that would be amazing. Issue six is where we're tying her in with the uh, goddesses and how she, um, how everything that she's going through links into the goddesses and mythology. And then issue 
seven, we're gonna go to a new goddess. At least that's the plan. Can tell mutat mutatu. Thank you so much for the follow. I'm sorry if I read your name terribly. I really apologize. Um, I mostly draw variant covers, Jason. Get to the Aztec Mayan goddess already. I know, Tom, we need to. <laughs> it certainly wasn't that, Juan. It was overzealous cleaning, vacuuming, and cooking. <laughs> Oh, Devin, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Do you prefer the tech pen over brush pen? Yeah, John, you know, I'm not a huge fan of brush pens. I can't say I like them very much. I do like inking with a, a brush. So like I do have inking brushes, these ones. So they're uh, the Winsor & Newton Series 7 ones. So I ink with these, um, but the brush pens I, I don't care for. I've tried so many types and I just, I don't like them. How are you gonna color this commission? I am going to use Copic markers. So um, if I manage to finish this in time, I'll get started on the colors. Oh, thank you, Shanna. That, that means so much, I really appreciate it. You know what, Tom, um, JP and I have pretty much decided, well, okay, this was my suggestion and I'm gonna see how JP feels about it, but right now our thoughts are. So we've talked about it and we've agreed on this, but you know, we're still playing it by ear. And um, we're thinking we're gonna save the candle cover and the Dan's apartment cover for issue six. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Do you get many non-colored commissions? I can't remember any. Very few, Devin. Do you like the brush markers? Uh, Labris, are you asking about the, um, the Copic brush markers? I'm sorry, Tom. We, we just had no way of knowing that this was all going to happen and, you know, plans have to change then. Dash Brown, hello! Welcome to the stream today! Is there a character you've been wanting to draw that you haven't been able to get to yet? Well, um, probably, hmm, let's see. I really would like to draw, but you know, it's one of these things that I probably wouldn't take a commission of it. I would want to um, spend some time really uh, working to get it right and I do want to work more on my male characters 
So I'd say just as an artistic exploration and study in drawing the male figure, I would like to draw Wolverine and Batman. But like, badass Wolverine and Batman. So, uh, my goal is to get to where I can draw those confidently. Um, yeah, it's not cancelled so far as, as far as I'm aware, Rob. You need your Wolverine. <laughs> Does the cover have to go to press before a print version is available? Yes. Baz, thank you so much for the follow. You called dibs again on Wolverine. Awesome! Thank you so much, Dash Brown. I really appreciate you stopping by. Have a great evening. Can you tell I have a thing for the candle cover? It, okay, so that's the one where she's holding the candle, right, Tom? I know that's ridiculous. I guess, yeah, the other one is the not candle cover. Duh. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a bigger pen. See you later, Dash Brown. So I've, I've switched to a thicker pen, but because I'm not, um, I'm not drawing quite as slowly or precisely, uh, it's not going to appear quite as uh, thick as it could if I was inking slowly or doubling over my lines. But the real plan with working it with like rocks and cracks and stuff like that is I'm inking them so fast it's uh they'll um the lines will seem a little thinner. that candle cover okay yeah i still have that one here and um when that cover comes out i've put a little hint um of what the next goddess is that we're working on So this is going to be a rock formation in the foreground, um, and so I'm going to make this one really dark to just help give some depth. And then these ones over here are going to be getting lighter and lighter, just because I'm still working on um, putting as much depth as, as I can in my work. 
Oh, Kyle, thank you. He says, big shout out and thank you to you and your warehouse staff. All books and prints arrived this past weekend with no issues. Yay, and thank you so much for your order and your support. That means a ton. I'll pass it on to the warehouse staff. Thank you. Totally spilling beans, yes. Yay, 97% love between Philip and me. Whoop, whoop. Thank you so much for hanging out, Shanna, and I hope you have a good night's sleep. Mwah, big hugs to you. Thank you, Rob. Would you be able to post the tattoos to your Facebook so we can get a clearer look at them? Um, the, on Divinica, the ones that she's wearing? Thank you, Cameron Patrick. Yes, I totally can. I'll uh, remind me to do that. Gabriel, hello, Kara, Nick. <laughs> so good to have you guys back. How was dinner? Lots of love to you, Shanna. Your style is similar to Joseph Campbell. Hmm. I'm not familiar with that artist. Hello, Samuel. <laughs> you had chicken parm. Nice. See you later, Jason. Thank you so much for hanging out and I hope your little boy gets to sleep and sleeps well and all those good things. Is Brandy here? Brandy, Kara, Nick, it's so good to have you guys here. Oh, and Gabriel, Hanasol. Whoop, whoop. You guys are really coming here at the right time because I had a, a rough start. <gasps> Mr. E, hello. So happy to have you here. How's work going? Is, um, because your work just started up recently, right? Mr. E's work. Yours did as well, right, Kara? Are things filling up and a little bit more back to normal or not quite? Wow, Mubot's being nasty. 2%. Oh, sorry, Kara. Phase one, delay at work. I'm not scheduled to go back to the office until phase three. 
So sorry, Kara. Good to see you. Oh, wow, mystery. I need to go check it out. I'm sorry. I'm so behind on Boop Squad. Was Sherlock upset with his uh, teeth clean and took it out on my hand? <laughs> no, no. Sherlock gets upset if I don't give him his teeth cleaning. He's very intense on me keeping my daily schedule and giving him his teeth cleaning and his brushing. Because a treat usually follows. Actually, it always follows. So Sherlock's very intense about that. Oh, you just posted it. Okay. Can you tell Brandy she's a baker? <laughs> Brandy does bake, right? She makes glorious cakes. Is she trying to tell us that she's not a baker? She does not believe us. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I'm just going to lighten some of my lines here so that I can refine them. I'm not super happy with uh, some of the folds and also they don't make sense. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but clearly I wasn't thinking. Thanks for letting me know about those Divinica issues. Ended up finding those and way more at the site. Oh, wow, cool. 
Thank you, Jeff. And thank you so much for your order this morning, too. That was way awesome of you. Thank you, Mr. E. Terry Turner. Welcome to the stream today. Okay, Labrys, I'm so sorry. Uh, you had to go, had to grab it. Did you mention if you like using the Copic brush markers or just the chisel tip? Honestly, I way prefer using the brush side. Um, and that's just personal preference. I hardly ever use the chisel tip. So I want the, the cape kind of flowing over one of the, the skulls, just for funsies. Okay, and then here I had the, the uh, cloth, the red again, which maybe, you know, I'll just leave it in. It doesn't necessarily have to make a complete and total amount of sense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it in. And I just want it to be all kind of torn up right here. And then it goes back to rock. And then here we go back to cloth. Thank you, Mr. E. I agree, Labrys, 100%. I find that the, the brush tip just flows a lot better. Um, the chisel tip is great for like saturating an area with color, but the brush tip, it just has better flow in my opinion. It blends easier, all of those things. But then, you know, for every me that has that opinion, there there's another amazing artist who like is so good with Copic marker and they mostly use the chisel tip. Um, the artist I have in mind for that is I believe Adam Hughes, who is just unbelievably good with Copic marker. He uses the chisel tip and the original Copics. So, you know, it's, it's just, I guess what you've practiced, what you use, what you prefer. 
um, and then you just get good at that one thing. So um, it's definitely not an across the board, the, the brush tip is best, it's just our personal preference. Brandy Sandre, thank you so much for the follow. There's rocks all around. Sixty people in Twitch. Oh yay, that's awesome. Thank you all so much for joining here. And um, when we're done, we need to think of who we're gonna rate because I wanna pass on the the love. <laughs> Salad and fish tonight. Um, we are having spaghetti, I think, is what we have for dinner tonight.
Okay, time to finish the rocks in the back. So yeah, I'm going to switch to a different pen. Let's see if my two is working. Shirley, hello. Yes, I'm wearing my hat again. <laughs> Monster hat equals not enough time to do the hair for the show today. Yes, true. Though I don't actually have hat hair today, I just decided I should wear the hats while it's not too hot. So on days where it isn't too hot, I'll wear a hat. It's more interesting than just seeing my hair again. <laughs> Thank you, Shirley. I did none of those things, Juan. <laughs> it sure was. It was mixing cookies and then vacuuming. Basically what has happened is somewhere my son has lost his glasses. So Dan and I took apart the, the living room and <clears throat> searched in every couch cushion and then of course you know I see every crummy that went in the couch cushions and I cleaned and cleaned <laughs> so I can see if we got a raid. Hello raiders, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. You guys are awesome. <laughs> oh, it's Kreese. Oh my goodness, Kreese. Hello, welcome. <clears throat> Thank you so much for the raid, Kreese. It's great to see you again. How is everything going? Woohoo! 
Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for being on Cree's channel. He is an amazing artist and a wonderful human. It's so good to see you, Cree's. Things are good. That's great. We're doing great. I'm doing well. Thank you. Welcome everyone. Um, I think the first time I met you, Cree's, was at WonderCon, right? Well, I've had the, uh, it's been great to meet Crees, and now it's great to meet all of you. Welcome, my name is Dawn McTagg. I am a comic book artist like Crees, um, and right now I'm working on a commission. This is of Lady Death, uh, so I'm doing the inking today. Um, and the little scroll on the side is previous art that I have done. Um, you're right, it was Megacon. Did I say WonderCon? <laughs> I haven't been to WonderCon in so long, Chris. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone for joining Chris on the raid. This is awesome. Um, so I am working on the inks right now. I am using Copic Multi-Liner pens. Um, I like them because you can, you can replace the pieces and still keep the pen. Um, so these are the pens that I use and as soon as I'm done with the inks then I will move on to coloring. So I'll be using Copic sketch markers. Those are just my personal preference. Yeah, that's right. You can't get a raid on Facebook. <laughs> so thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for joining Crees. It's so good to see you. Get some food Crees and have a good evening. It's so good to virtually see you again. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate the support. Mwah. <laughs> okay, so I am... Yep, we have some games that everybody can uh, play. You can figure out your love meter with people and <laughs> all kinds of things. <laughs> Yep, Kreese wanted to go get some dinner, and it's so great to have you all here. For everybody that's on Facebook, just so you are aware, I'm also live streaming to Twitch. And the way that it works is that a when you're finished with your stream, you can take your audience and um, drop them off at another creator's live stream. And it's so fun, um, <clears throat> and it's called a raid. So Kreez is an amazing artist. He uh, also works in comics and he has a very big Twitch channel and he so kindly just raided me. So um, when I'm done with my live stream, we will be raiding another artist to go give them love and show support. And it's a really cool thing that Twitch has. So that's what I'm, I'm doing right now is just saying hello to everyone who raided. Lil Ms. Kazzy, thank you so much for being here. It's great to have you. Hello. It's like photobombing for Twitch. That's a really good way of putting it, yes. Okay, so I'm still using um, my multi-liner size 0 0.2 right now. And I'm just finishing up the rocks in the background. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase um, all my sketch lines, see what I missed, and refine the line art. I think I also need to draw a skull right in between her, her bust right there. We get to introduce more folks to other artists. Camille was so excited to gain some new followers. Yeah, it's so nice. It's such a cool thing that, that Twitch has. That's right, uh, Zanetta. No. Janetka. <laughs> it, it's a really nice way that it can help um, you know, new, new live streamers or, you know, I've gotten a lot of followers just from other artists supporting my channel. So it's really, it's really cool. 
Um, and I will definitely be doing it at the end of my live stream as well. We're going to go raid somebody and show them some love and support. Kreese has a much bigger channel than I do, so it's pretty cool of him to come and show some support like that. <laughs> David, hello! Ek Hayes, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Tim, hello, thank you so much. Yes, it's my ice cream monster hat today. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mr. E, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you. Yes, it's Chef Dan today. So I'm going to keep the, the detail much less in the background rocks. As you can see, there's not nearly as many lines in them. And that's because I want them to drop back. Like this rock right here has far more lines and detail in it than the ones in the background. And that's to hopefully show some depth. Of course, the depth will very much be aided by the shade and shadows or lack thereof once I start working on that. Um, but for now, it's just to um, drop it into the background. It's like an AA meeting. Hi, I'm Chicago. I'm a Donaholic. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Yokai artist, hello and welcome. Aw, thanks, David. Um, if anyone hasn't already, definitely go follow Cree's art. I'm going to put a, a link to his uh, page on here. I'm going to put follow, if I can type, at Cree's. Yep, so go go follow Kreez because uh, he he's an incredible artist and such a great person. And if you haven't followed him already, please do so. Ah, <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. Okay, I'm just getting my chat up again. Okay, there we go. Um, all I need to do now is just draw a skull right here in the center of her bust because she's a Lady Death. And Lady Death is definitely, you know, heavy metal uh, skull themed outfit. Um, so she has a lot of skulls on this one. I uh, accidentally drew a fingernail even though that finger's supposed to be gloved. So, you know, I'll fix that. <laughs> You know, small mistakes. The nice thing is, though, that this glove is black leather, so I can cover the fingernail without too much trouble. Um, but in general, uh, she, yeah, she's very heavy metal themed, um, so there are a lot of skulls. And I'm kind of trying to draw a more um, throwback outfit, a little bit more Steve Hughes infused. I... Um, I, I usually put a lot more like detail and stuff, but for this one, um, the man who commissioned this said that, you know, he started following Lady Death in the Steve Hughes era. So I looked up some of his outfits and the way he set up the, the tops 
you know, like Lady Death's bikini top and stuff, and I've sort of put that into my work here. Oh, thank you, David. That means a lot. Drapery's kind of a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Rupert's all cracked out with the shakes and itching. Come on, done just a five by seven. Aw. <laughs> oh, sorry. Pink hat in the way. <laughs> Ooh, did we just get a new member in the boop squad? That's awesome. So I want light coming on her here and then being dark everywhere else. That's super scary. I'm not entirely sure that I'm gonna do that. A uh, question from Sable. Do you sometimes think the art takes center stage over the content, the comic, the story? Mm. I don't really think so. Like the, the, the content and, okay, covers generally are not storytelling, at least the covers that I do. If you're doing a storytelling cover, that's usually cover A. And then the, the more limited covers are a little bit more of a overall concept. Um, so this one is more of conceptual and pinup as opposed to storytelling. So there's certain things that definitely will come more to the fore of importance. And in this one, it's really kind of more the essence of Lady Death. So the character is almost the most important thing as opposed to what exactly it's saying. I more need to evoke the personality and overall uh, feel of the character. Nope, don't like. You're swapping over to t Twitch deck cosplay. Okay, awesome, thank you so much, I'll see you there. Oh my goodness, I've been looking everywhere for my other kneaded eraser, so I had to pull out a new one, which I don't like doing. I don't like pulling out a new eraser when I know I have a non-bad one somewhere and it was hiding in my stuff. <sighs> Unfortunate. Now I just have two halfway used kneaded erasers. You are not satisfied with my answer. Oh no, Sable. I'm so sorry. How can I satisfy you more with my answer? Dak, hello, welcome over to Twitch. I figured as much, Sable. You've gotten me a few times when you're you're kidding. I'm starting to learn. Though I am really gullible. <laughs> yeah, I realized after those words came out of my mouth that that was probably not the best way to string them together. <laughs> I know, it can go wrong so fast. <laughs> what is happening? 
hey, I can't draw today. That's what you're here for. True, I would not say no to a Snickers bar right about now. You've got a Snickers earlier today while shopping. Usually you get a peppermint patty, but you'll be damned if the store didn't have any. Aw. Just been meeting a lot of collectors who focus on great comic book covers, which I stopped asking about the story in it. Oh, interesting. See you later, Matthew. Thank you so much for hanging out and have a wonderful evening. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Did we enter the food portion and the raunchy portion of the stream at the same time? <laughs> it's very possible. Okay, eraser time. And I know that I'm going to start seeing how much detail I missed. And then I'm going to have to try to figure out what it was I meant to draw there. <laughs> figure it's to do with the CGC slabbing of the books. For the covers, is that what you mean? Okay, well, a lot of times you'll draw a cover for something, and this happens to me a lot. I have to seek out the actual book itself in order to be able to open it, because what happens is you draw a cover, you submit it, um, and then it's on the book, and then you're brought the book, but you can't open it because otherwise you're gonna hurt the CGC grade, so you have to be careful, so you have to wait and get a trade or find it at a local comic book store or at a con in a book that you can actually open. <laughs> Stever, hello, welcome to the stream today. Thank you, Steve. Oops, I completely forgot to ink the top of her head. <laughs> we almost lost the top of Lady Death's head. Which, of course, is not the end of the world. I can just ink it in later. But 
you know, it's nice to not actually lose the, uh, the sketch lines. You don't do slabbing. Interesting. That's probably why trade paperbacks and graphic novels sell. Yeah, there's usually like a reader copy and then a collecting copy. So a lot of times I draw on the collector copies and I have to seek out a reader copy because I can't open somebody's book that they're planning on getting graded or they don't want damaged, you know? <laughs> Sometimes I won't even touch the book just to not risk ruining it. So they will bring me the book. I'm like, set it here. I hold my pen, I sign it, and I, I step away. <laughs> You saw a white tiger hat with big cute ears. Oh, that sounds awesome. Interesting, Rob. Yeah, it's always so interesting to hear everyone's opinions about, you know, varying uh, features or uh, aspects of, of collecting. Neo Moon, hello and thank you. When you see those hats, you think I could wear them on stream. Well, you know, send it my way and I will, uh, not the hat itself, but send me the link if you ever see something. I'm still on the hunt. Though right now I'm kind of holding out for Halloween because I'm hoping that there will be more hats available because a lot of them right now are kind of, sold out, you know, really expensive because there's just two left or whatever. And I'm not currently traveling to the US, so I can't get ones that don't ship here. <laughs> You've never seen a 10 yet? I've seen a few 10s, or are you saying you personally have never gotten a 10 yet, mystery? I got 199 for a uh, comic book blank one time. And I will now and forever always be chasing that 99 again. And I would be so happy if I were to ever get a 10. Uh, I think Benitez has gotten a 10 blank before. Like he's drawn on it and it was a 10. And that I have never personally seen. You have not seen a 10. You've seen 9.8s and 9.9s. How about a 9.9 blank? See you later, Eric Purcell. Have a, have a great evening, and I hope your little one gets to sleep without any trouble and sleeps well. Those are always good things. You've got a 9-8 Amazing Spider-Man 300. Nice, Nick. 
You've got a few Ebass 9-8s. Nice. Kylie's back for a couple minutes. Hey, Kylie. I'll be honest, I'm very butthurt when I get a 9-6 on a sketch. Super butthurt. <laughs> So I'm really hoping that all the CGC Remark books get 9-8s or I'm just going to be super bummed. <laughs> yes, it's a Copic piece. Really? CGC 10s. Wow, okay, I'm talking about a blank commission book with a 10. I've only heard of one. I've never actually seen it. You want to know the origin of the term butt hurt? Yeah, you can you can um, you can get actual like paper and prints and all that graded. I personally have never really seen why I would get a print graded or a commission graded. It's it's a piece of paper. I haven't seen you use a pink eraser. This is kind of pink. Or do you mean the actual pink brand eraser? Busy girl, Kylie. Well done. All right, a lot of the detail on Lady Death's face is gonna disappear now, because I actually inked it very light. Um, I will be going, um, I'll be going into her face with shadow mostly, so I don't need a bunch of ink lines, just basics. William, hello! Yeah, Sable, I do not like those erasers. They're gritty and grainy and I, uh, I'm very picky about what erasers I use. So right now I'm sticking to mono erasers. Um, and yeah, they're all Tombow mono erasers. And then the Faber-Castell brand kneaded eraser. That's true, Devin. <laughs> I do still have you. I'm, I'm not sure if I still have your address, Kylie. All right, so when you go to erase the pencil under or um, under your inked lines, it will inevitably lighten the inks just a little bit. It's not going to smudge them as long as you give them time to dry, but it does it does pick up a little bit. So, um, what I usually do before I start on the actual commission piece itself is I'll go over it and make some adjustments and clean, clean things up. Oh, William, 
awesome. You joined on Twitch. Yay. Okay, and I've got to watch out erasing on corners because it's so easy to like scrunch the paper or it picks it up really easily. Even though this is cardstock, it's not taped down, so I'm just holding the corners carefully. Oh, thank you so much, William, uh, Philip. Musita, hello and thank you so much for the follow. 81% love. Woo! So I'm doing touch up eraser spots everywhere because once Copic goes down on top of eraser, there is no picking up the eraser. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'll take it. need to get all the eraser shavings off. All right, the one thing that I didn't really work out very well because I wasn't personally happy with it was the cloth over on this side. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to do it simply like that. I'm not going to make her cape on this side overly complicated. I still see pencil on her face. What is happening? Sorry, everyone. I had to really look close there for a second. <laughs> Apologies. Yes, <laughs> lots of hat head in the way. Sorry, everyone. I'm aware that that happened. <laughs> oh, guilty. Guilty is charged, mystery. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. I just noticed something. I forgot to give her the back of her, um, the back of her outfit here. There we go. That's in place. Thank you, John. Liptio, thank you so much for the follow. Anasan, hello. Okay. It looks to me like it's time to start coloring. So I'm going to go get my Copic markers and get set up. I wasn't thinking that I would have time to start coloring, but I do. Yay! All right, pens are gonna go away. So I'll probably start out on her skin, and then I guess it's really the moment of truth of deciding if I'm going to do a really intense color scheme or not. I'm just gonna pause my video for a second. Just the, the time-lapse video. Copic bingo time, that's right. So I'm just gonna get out my dab pad. Where's my hex chart? Hex chart, I need to go get my Copic markers. <laughs> Aziz, light, oh. <laughs> Best movie ever. You think so? You think get ballsy with the colors? Ooh, it's scary. It's scary, scary. It's going to be like intense shadows. Um, so it's, it's pretty scary. If I'm going to choose to do like a bright highlight right here on the rocks and everything, and then the rest is going to have to be like in dark shadows. So there's pretty much going to be a, a line going across her stomach, I guess, or somewhere. Yeah, I'm scared too. <laughs> Your love has grown 3%. I know, I'm scared. We're going to have to see about this. I shall think. All right, guys, I'm going to be right back. Two minute break. Actually, 30 second break. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Got all my art supplies, refilled my water. 
Oh, I wish I had candy. My son has candy in my drawer right over there, but it's not mine, so I can't steal. <laughs> Alright, so if I were going to do... <laughs> Ew! No, I'm not a Red Vines person! <laughs> <laughs> All right, if I were to do the highlights, let's say it was going to, it would be, you know what, I'd want it kind of over her body like this. Okay, so then it would be about right there. Maybe not on all of her arm. Say it would hit her like that. there was a, a bright highlight on her on her body there that means here would be in shadow here would be in shadow it would go all the way down her hip and it would kind of hang like so I have not seen the Bill and Ted trailer, but I haven't seen any Bill and Ted. We need lots of highlights on her body everywhere. <laughs> Wet tiger hat. Okay, I'm, I'm checking it out, Sable. Oh, that's cute. So that means that the bottom down here, where all the, um, where all of the, the, the skulls are and the rest of her cape is going to be in darkness. It's risky. Either way, I will be starting it coloring normally and then moving on to adding some of the like extreme shadows afterwards anyway. So I'm going to start out with the cool grays. So for anyone uh, that's interested in Copic markers and specifically in the coloring of Lady Death, sorry, I've got eraser shavings everywhere. Um, I use the cool gray markers for um, coloring Lady Death. The reason why is her skin is cool gray, basically. It's like a bluish undertone grays and whites. So um, that's why I use the cool gray markers. And it's really nice because um, as opposed to, say, uh, the let's say the purples, for instance, they're not all in the exact same shade. Some of them are blue undertones, some of them are pink, some of them have more of a gray, um, you know, and it's hard to even distinguish some of these between blue and pink. They, they look blue or pink. 
Um, whereas the cool grays are all exactly the same shade, just darker or lighter. So <laughs> the grays are a lot easier to work with than the colored Copics. Thank you so much, Philip. Okay, so I'm starting with double zero. Um, regardless of whether I'm going to do the intense light or not, I'm still going to be having her body lit on this side and um, sh very shadowed on the side of her body going towards her back. <laughs> Hello, Hanusol. So I always saturate the skin completely with double zero. I inked her face really light. Um, my line work is super, super light for her face. Um, because I'm going to take care of most of the highlights and shadows and everything with the markers. Not so much with the lines. I'm still using double zero. And because I inked her face a couple days ago, I'm not really worried about my marker picking up the, the inked lines. But sometimes if, if it's freshly inked, I am concerned. So you do wanna be careful with that when you're working with markers. You wanna make sure that it's really dry. Okay, now I'm at C0. The light source is coming from directly in front of her, slightly above her head. So there would be more shadow on the base of her nose. And then there's going to be more shadow on this side of her face. And a strong shadow coming under her chin. I'm blending. Thank you, Anthony. So now I'm just taking the double zero and I'm blending out the zero. Okay, then I'm taking cool gray number one. Let's get a slightly darker one. I'm using C2 to give her some darker, sharper cheekbones, and then I'll blend them out with uh, 
some of the lighter markers. <laughs> Blending it with C1 to soften it up a little bit. C1, hello Tom, welcome. No, thank you Tom. All right. I want there to be a lot of light on her face. So that's probably where I'm going to leave it. Um, and I'm going to start working on her hair. Has Sherlock taken up residence in your luggage again? No, but you know what? He's come back to his uh, cat perch. So we had a little cat tree for him. He then spit up a fur ball on his favorite perch on his cat tree. And since then, obviously I washed it, I cleaned the fur ball, I, you know, took care of it all, and he wanted nothing to do with his perch. And that used to be like his one spot that he used to sit in all the time. Um, and so I've been like super sad about that, and um, I nearly was gonna like take it away, figuring, okay, Sherlock's never gonna use it again but he just started using it again. So he's been sitting on his cat perch a lot lately, which is, which is wonderful. Like literally only in the last couple days. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second because this part is still a little bit wet and that's when I want to add my blush for her. So I need to do this really, really lightly because usually, sorry, my head was in the way. Um, usually I, I do this at the very beginning, but I wasn't sure I wanted to put blush on Lady Death. I don't always, but I think here it's going to look really nice. I'm pressing on this as lightly as I possibly can.
So this color is, if you can see it like in the way I'm seeing it in front of me, these pencils are a little bit more grainy than the other ones that I have, but I like that for, for her eye makeup. And I really like red eyeshadow on Lady Death. Don't ask me why. Personal preference, but I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Philip. Also, going pretty heavy with the eyeshadow on a piece like this. For starters, it helps her eyes stand out, and secondly, um, it helps to enhance the, the appearance that she's looking down and you're seeing more of her eyeshadow and all of that. Hello, welcome to the stream. Okay, let's give her her red lips since Lady Death has very iconic red lips. Um, and I'm gonna go pretty dark with them this time. So I've got to start with just my uh, regular, it's R46, it's called Strong Red. My f head and hat may end up getting in the screen right now because I need to look at it closely <laughs> and I'm not wearing my glasses, so I'm gonna be nose in paper for a minute. <laughs> Apologies in advance. There we go. Is Mubot lying again? Okay, so now I'm switching to another marker. It's called, it's R39 and it's called Garnet. But it's a little full, so I'm going to have to be super careful here. There we 
go. All right. Reds can go away. We're done with them for now. Let's get a little bit more going on with her hair. So because her hair is starting to A, go behind her body and her head, um, and it's also going into the background a little bit, so her hair is kind of leaning up against the rock. So that's where it's gonna start really getting dark in there. <clears throat> And I don't have to worry about going outside the lines because all of that is going to be even darker rock in shadow. And in a, probably I'm gonna use like warm grays so they're a little bit more brown. You can see the difference between cool grays and warm grays. The cool grays hue blue, the warm grays hue kind of brown. So that's what I'll use for the rocks is probably the warm grays. All right, in about three minutes, I'll probably start getting ready to raid someone. I'm gonna take, just take a look at who is around. Specialist 40k, thank you so much for the follow. So I'm just checking um, to see who's live and see who's doing um, like a stream with um, chat turned on and all of that stuff. So I really want her face to pop right here. So I'm going to make all this hair that's kind of right up against the side of her head right here to be really deep in shadow and then the stuff behind her head to also be deep in shadow so that her face is, you know, almost illuminated. Camille is on. It looks like Keeman is on, and he's on our streams a lot, too. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. Oh, yes, once st she streams, we do need to raid Kylie.
I'm ready for spaghetti and we're watching a cooking show at dinner time, which is fun. And it's international week on the cooking show we're watching. So everybody's going to be cooking. I think it's international week or maybe we just finished international week. We did. Maybe it's bread week. Either way, they're so fun. <laughs> I'm rating your TV, Shirley. That's awesome. All right, everybody. Speaking of raids, I want to, I think because uh, Keeman is on right now and he's been part of our Twitch family for like two years since the beginning. Um, and he isn't usually on when I'm done live streaming. He usually goes, he usually live streams uh, before I do. So Hopefully he's still on right now and we can go give Keeman some love and um, say hey on whatever he's working on. Thank you, Mix and Nime Mix. That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining in and thank you all for being here. Thank you for hanging out for an inking and a little bit of coloring live stream. I will see you again on Thursday for either more of this or working on the cover. It really depends uh, where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, thank you all so much. We are going to raid. How do you, came in. All right, is it working? Yes, okay, we're gonna go raid Keeman, show him lots of support. Thank you all again for being here. I will see you next time, and let's go raid. Bye. Ah, I need my mouse to work. Raid time. <laughs>